everyone, Kay here on my homestead in Tennessee. I'm picking up where I left off yesterday, preparing my six by eight raised bed for planting garlic. We're getting hit by a cold spell starting tonight. It's gonna to be freezing. So I should have done this a week ago. I didn't, I'm doing it tonight only because for the next nine days, it's going to be freezing every night. So I'm gonna get it in right now, mulch it really well, and hope for the best. So, take a look at me preparing the garlic for planting.
Hard neck. So the first time I planted garlic, I knocked it out of the park. I had such great success in California the first time with soft neck garlic. And I'll put the link right up there for the playlist. And you can see where I discuss garlic in more depth and detail in terms of planting in containers, planting in the ground. Today I'm planting in the raised bed. So basically what you want to do is you want to, there's a, a few principles, it's very easy to grow garlic, but a few principles you need, and that is good compost. You need good quality garlic. If you can't order from a certified dealer, then buy organic at the store if you can. Separate the cloves, don't remove the paper peel to each clove. Of course, you've got to decide whether you're planting hard neck or soft neck garlic. I'm in zone seven, so I can do both. I've had more success with soft neck. So about two thirds of my cloves are soft neck and about a third of my cloves are hard neck. So we'll be talking more about garlic and harvesting and growing and when to fertilize and all of that as things progress. But right now the sun just went beyond the ridge and I need to get the garlic in the ground. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put down two inches of good compost. This is a mix for raised beds specifically, so let's go. So I'm going to rake this in and smooth it out and hope that I wind up with about two inches of additional soil compost to raise the level of the bed. You need to plant garlic about two inches down. You always plant it with the tip up. I'll show you in a second. And sink that down about two inches and close it in. I'm gonna lay this out in a grid to get the most out of this one bed. I'm only planting my garlic in one bed. I have four varieties. I am going to do a soft neck, a hard neck, a soft neck, and a hard neck. And tomorrow I'll come back and put the, uh, put the name tags on. But let's get it raked. wondering what that beeping is that you hear often in my videos. Those are supposedly supposed to keep moles and voles out of your garden. So I have one pretty much in every bed and they make this noise every few seconds, which I've gotten used to, but you know, you can hear it on the camera. So if you get one, then that's what you have to deal with. So I have in my hand my ground eggshells. Even when you grind eggshells, it takes time for that to break down and become an available nutrient. So I like to put it on in the beginning so it has all winter to kind of break down and start feeding those emerging garlic in the spring. And I'm probably going to add some fertilizer later on because this particular 
soil, this raised bed soil, has a lot of nutrients in it and compost. And then I have put my ground leaves, which is great compost. And also there's breaking down sticks underneath. And of course there was compost underneath the last layer. So I feel like I've got a lot of nutrition in there to start off with. So we're just gonna do this for today. pack them in you can do an inset row every other row is like an inset just like you would if you were putting biscuits on a you wanted to get more biscuits in the oven on your tray you put one one and then one in the middle and you have a star pattern I don't actually I didn't count my cloves so I don't know how many I have you can plant garlic you know pretty close together like four inches so Let's get started. I'm going to start off with the early Italian, keep it on this end. As you can see, the, well, let's get a really classic looking clove. Here's a really big one. So you can really see this end that had the roots on it and was trimmed. That goes down and this goes up. That's the orientation. And that goes down about two inches. Just wait till you have them all set to cover them over. I think it's easier, you know, because you can see where they are. Well, guess what I remembered that I had inside? A bulb planter. This is for flower bulbs, but this is gonna make fast work.
Well, I am going to very quickly cover all of that over and cover it with mulch. So stay with me till the end. But I just want to take a moment to invite you to join my late bloomer community and subscribe to my channel, hit the bell for notifications, scroll down and click all so you won't miss any of the action right here on my Tennessee homestead. And if you would be so kind as to smash that like button and share my videos with others, I would really appreciate it. So here goes, let's get this covered up before it's completely dark. <laughs> Normally you would water your garlic in, but it rained last night, so all this soil is really wet underneath what I just put in, which was very moist in the container. Coming right out of the container, it was already moist, so no need to water. Thank you. 